I are clever. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Settlers Saturday, episode 69 today, which is pretty cool, pretty cool. A nice good, a nice good number to be on with Settlers Saturday. Um, now, one thing I want to say actually is it's been a few weeks now. It's been a while since we finished the Amazon campaign. And that season finale, that's got a load of views, a load of likes, a load of comments. That's really great to see. It's, it's, it's really nice to see throughout the whole series, really, when people like and comment and, I don't know, just come out of the woodwork, especially for that last episode. People have, like, came out on droves and just said, yeah, yeah, let's, let's see more Settlers Saturday. So, yeah, I'm really, I'm really pleased about that. Thanks for that, guys. That's... That's really cool. So, here we are, playing away as the Romans. We're doing okay. It seems, I've said it before, it seems like we're just dominating these guys now because this guy, his base is kind of, look at this, it's it's kind of closed in. He's got the mountains on one side, is is closed in by his own team on one side, on the other side even, and then the top here is just completely surrounded by us. It looks like he doesn't have any room. Very interesting. So what's the what's the plan for today, guys? What is the plan? I think we should build all of the buildings we've got going. There's the odd one dotted around that we've been working on. Excuse me. Um, we've got this donkey farm here. And I realised last episode. Look at this. <laughs> we start off with donkeys anyway. So maybe we, uh, we didn't really need the donkey farm. <laughs> Wasn't quite necessary. I mean, of course, with the donkey farm like this, we are speeding it up. We've already got 16. I might stop that. When we hit around 20 or something, I'll stop. There's no point past that for what we need. We need a pickaxe, though. And we've got these woodcutters huts. So do we have any axes? No, we don't. No axes for them. So let's go for pickaxe and a couple of axes. And did we build a saw? Was that the sawmill? Yeah. Is that a good spot for the sawmill? I really want to have it here. But then I want to put a tower here. Hmm. Can we have the best of both? Can we get a tower and a sawmill? Probably. Probably if I start, if we start cutting back this stone, that's probably got what? Two or three left in it. There would be cool as well. So we might eventually be able to get a, a sawmill down there. This one isn't maxed out. It's not maxed out of stone, so he is, he is going to start cutting away at the stone there. Awesome. Right, can we promote? Not quite. And what else have we done? We've got this gold mine. There was some gold over here. And we do own the land here, so let's go for... A coal mine, smack bang in the middle. Sometimes I like to squeeze two in into a little patch there, but no. Let's go for one smack bang in the middle. And then I think what we should do. This guy is obviously a thief. Look at that dude. Let's try and take him out. Place your bets on which, which um, people that is, which enemy that is. I'm guessing we've seen a lot of... Hmm, I'm guessing it's going to be the Amazons. That's going to be an Amazon thief. Let's see. It's definitely not the green one, whoever those greens are. Speaking of the greens, let's go and find them. We've got two large residents. Let's build another one. Hmm. Where should we put this large residence? Are we under attack? Okay, we're being we're being attacked. Go on, get back. Don't do that. Don't do anything stupid. Where is a good spot for a nice large residence? Uh, yeah, this will do. Why not? We'll pop it there. Got this lookout tower. We can see quite a lot of this guy's base now. Almost half of his base is visible, which is pretty cool from three towers it looks like we've got here nice so i think what we should do i'm just looking at this guy's bases doesn't have any troops 
We've got this thief there. He's, he's still got something, actually. Let's get him to drop that. Yeah, a little bit of coal. Let's just go in. He's got... Oh, he does have his barracks. I was just thinking he doesn't have a barracks, but he, he does have a barracks. He, looks, he must have recently come... Yeah, he must have literally just finished that barracks. Okay. So he's going to start making some troops. But he doesn't have any food production. <laughs> Unfortunately for him. We've completed this marketplace now. So what I'm thinking is maybe we should send some stone down here for these guys. Because if you look, I think that's desperately what they need. They've got enough wood. Though that forester's hut is doing nothing. That forester's hut is useless. Um, it, yeah, it looks like they're going to need people as well. Maybe they've built that forester's hut, but then there's no one to occupy it. Hmm. Let's send them some... Yeah, let's send them some stone, I think. I think that's the best thing to do. It looks like they need stone. They've got this... Do they even have a stone cutter? I see one here that's not built. They don't even have a stone cutter at all. So this guy is completely stagnant. His base is going to stay exactly the same unless we send this guy a little bit of stone, which we will. Let's just, uh, let's pop it there. That'll do. And let's go for, I don't know, um, 16, 24. Yeah, I think that's a good amount for now. I think 24 will do. Let's pop it, put it on a high priority and I mean, we've got this big project here, this this large residence, which almost needs exactly the same amount of stone. But apart from that, we don't have any other projects going, do we? Not really, not really. So we should be okay. Uh, one of the things as well I was just thinking about, we've got these charcoal makers huts. They're making coal for us, which is going very nice. Making a fair amount, actually, and making use of all the wood like sometimes, especially in the later game, you you don't need as much wood as, as much because you're not building, you're not expanding as much. So all of this stuff goes to waste, really. But because we've got these charcoal makers, I think two is a nice amount to, to churn out a, a, a good amount of coal for us. Um, it's keeping these guys busy. It's giving them something to do, which is always good. It's always good. You might as well be productive with them. Yeah, so... Um, so we've got the coal going, but we don't have any iron. We need the iron, and that's because, of course, we don't have the pig farms. We've, we got a donkey farm before we got a pig farm. So let's do that. Pig farm and a slaughterhouse. Mm. Where's the slaughterhouse going to be? I'm not sure. Could we squeeze it in? I kind of want to get it next to wherever we put the pig farm. So can we put the pig farm anywhere else? And the slaughterhouse. Ah. I just want to get it somewhere close. Somewhere nice and close. I'm not sure. Uh, and we can't quite build the sawmill yet. Which is what we wanted to do. Let's go for this piece here. If we can take this. It looks like there's two pieces of stone left there. Maybe we can squeeze in a sawmill. So, where are we going to put this slaughterhouse? All the way over here? It might have to be. It might have to be that. Um, it looks like these waterworks are still working flat out. So, let's get another one. Yeah, these bakeries aren't super stocked. Then, yeah, they're not super stocked. Look, we've already got three waterworks. I was thinking these bakeries would be packed. Well, this one's okay. It's got five five water, but these, this one is not got enough really. Especially seeing as we're building this pig farm. Maybe we'll go for one more. Just to be on the safe side. There we go. Of course, we are going to stop the donkey farm. Let's see how many donkeys we have. 23, yeah, we might as well stop that. Cool. And look at that, we're stacking up a little bit of gold there. What's our fighting strength? 48%. <clears throat> nice. We can nearly promote as well. This will be everyone's level 1. Or everyone's tier 2, I think. Of course, you start off with tier 1, I think. I can't quite remember. So these will be tier 3. Nice. We've got the donkeys on the way. Look at this. Conga line of donkeys dropping off the stone. Have they done a first delivery yet? Is this the first delivery? 
I think it is. So I think what we should do is we should take a mental image. Take a mental image of this guy here. I, th I think maybe he's, like behind the scenes, he might be pretty well promoted. Let's have a look. He's got, he's got his small temple. He's got a winery going. He's actually got two. So he might be fairly well promoted, actually. He did start these before us. So once we give him some stone and he starts, you know, rebuilding his economy, he might be churning out some some pretty high ranked soldiers. Yeah, he's got the barracks. He's got the barracks almost ready to go and the weaponsmith there. Just needs a I don't know, just needs a little push. He's actually got a weaponsmith there behind the tree. So yeah, let, we'll take a mental image of that and we'll see how much this stone is needed. Look at this. Everyone's swarming for it. <laughs> yeah, we'll see how much of an effect that has on that guy. Pioneers here, it looks like they've been cancelled because the Amazons have expanded here. We can promote, look at that. We'll go for swordsmen and we'll just convert these back to carriers. There we go. I think what we should do I don't think we need that many archers to be honest. What well, we've got 19. I don't yeah, I really don't think we need them. So let's drop that down a bit and then go for swords. Let's go for loads of swords. Yeah, that might work. <laughs> of course we've got these three towers that we we've taken here. That's pretty cool. This is a nice stronghold here. Which they've they've slowly drip fed us towers and we've captured them one at a time and, and now we have quite a formidable force here, a defensive force. You're going to need a fairly big army to capture all, f all four of these, which is good to see. We've got this building, this large residence, that's nearly completed. What else can we go for then? R possibly another grain farm. It's just a shame there's not really any space to do it. Hmm. We could try and crush these. Um, that might work. If we try and crush a residence. We'll crush one. Of course then we've got a huge injection of, of stone and stuff. Very nice. It looks like we've sent the, the three sack, stacks of stone. Cool, that was 24 stone we're sending. Yeah, yeah. Nice. So let's see how he makes use of it. Uh, yeah, okay. Is only using fish though. Hmm. Yeah, he's still only getting fish for his coal. Okay. Well, we'll leave him to it. He does have a bakery here. But strangely enough, it doesn't have a waterworks. Look at this. It's got everything he needs. He's got his grain farm. He's got his grain mill. He's going for a bakery. But he doesn't have a waterworks. <laughs> strangely enough, we've got like four or five waterworks. So let's let's send him a little bit of that. Let's go for 24 water again. And see what happens. What's our fighting strength now? Last time we looked at it was 48. 54% now. That's cool. Of course, we started off at 33, which 33 sucks. That's the lowest it's ever going to get, especially actually. It's going to actually drop down a little bit lower if you're fighting in someone else's base. Look at this. They think that's a good place for a grain, a grain farm. Actually, if they build this tower, they're going to take all of this, which we don't want. Um, and we did crush that large residence, so there's some people here that aren't very happy about that. <laughs> I was thinking maybe we could get away with crushing them both and then squeezing in a grain farm. We might still be able to squeeze one in if we can. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll we'll build it at least, and then we'll go for a scythe as well. So there's some people that aren't happy, but we're churning out a large residence now. So yeah, they don't mind. That was weird. Yeah, we, I must have looked at them the second we built this large residence. So let's go for one more. 
just for the laughs. Why not? Yeah, we'll go for one more and then maybe we'll be able to crush this. That's the plan. And and get a nice like this is prime real estate here. We've got this bloody large residence in the way. <laughs> we could go for a large temple as well. Maybe we'll do that. Just somewhere out of the way. Let's let's stick it down there. Okay. I think while we're at it as well, let's go for two hammers, two spades. We might as well. We've got troops all over this place here. But we haven't made any weapons recently. And I think that's because we need this pig farm. So let's pop that pig farm on a high priority. Maybe wherever that slaughterhouse is. Yeah, we'll put that on a high priority as well. Now, it looks like these buildings need stone, which, of course, I sent three stacks of it over to these guys. So um, now that I'm not sending stone anymore, we might be OK. We should be OK. And I think what I might do. Let's put that on a high priority. The gold mine only needs one more stone. What I might do is go to the distribution of goods here. Go to fish and just lower it down for coal. Or maybe just set it purely on iron. Iron and gold. Of course, gold does need fish, but... I mean, the iron ore mines will eat the fish, I think. But they, they, you know, they prefer actual proper meat to fish. We could squeeze another iron ore mine in here. We've got our geologists working double time just to clear this area for us. Um, yeah, let's do it. One there and maybe a coal mine. I think we're okay actually for coal. We've got these two bad boys working away. They're maxed out on both coal and wood. So the second we take a little bit of coal out of that, they're ready to, ready to rumble and make even more charcoal there, which is cool. And another storage area for all the gold we're making. Luckily, we haven't we haven't quite maxed out on the gold there. But gold seems to be one of the things we are actually producing because we've got a nice amount. We've got a good flow of gold coming from this. And of course, we have coal as well. We just call it. It just seems that the, the only places we are stagnant is with the weaponsmith and the iron smelter because we don't have the iron ore. I wonder if there's any spells we can do. Once we've got that large temple, there might be some spells we can do. I'm not quite sure. We do have two big projects on the way. We've got this large residence that's just started here. No materials yet, and it's only 10% leveled. And then all the way up here, 1% leveled, 2% leveled, and no materials yet. So we've got two big projects, like proper opposite sides, opposite sides of the base as well. So the plan, I think, the plan is to get some troops and start taking some land here. That would be nice. This guy did build his barracks, but he's, he's kind of maxed out. He's kind of run out of, ran out of weapons and stuff. So I think we'll be able to just trounce him. We'll be able to flatten him. Here you go, the water here. Water aid has finally arrived. I can't believe he hasn't got a, a waterworks. That's very strange. He's gone for a healer's quarters before he's gone for a waterworks. Oh, he does have one here. I wonder how long he's had that. <laughs> Never mind. I'm sure he's going to make use of that water, probably. And look at this. He's actually making weapons now. Doing his thing. Cool. Should we go for a weaponsmith as well? Maybe not until this is done we've got the pig farm up we've got the slaughterhouse up yeah maybe we should actually the waterworks isn't quite built yet yet even it there's a couple of stone on the way here let's have a look we need an axe and a pickaxe we can do that axe and pickaxe please there we go cool so yeah let's go for a we should start be making we should start producing pigs soon, hopefully. So, of course, that that will lead to us making some iron, which will make us some weapons. So, yeah, let's go for another iron smelter if we can. Oh, we finally built this, this tower. Let's pack it full of people. <laughs> yeah, it's probably a good idea to, to put people in that tower. 
especially so close to this really con contested area here. This is really contested. Though if, if we do manage to take these towers, this is a nice stronghold here. Like I said, this this is a nice stronghold here. We're also going to have one down here. Um, look at this. I wanted to capture this before they attacked it, before they um, claimed the land here. They've kind of cut us off. We're going to have to go all the way around, which is a bit of a pain. Never mind. We've got another grain farm, all the materials it needs. It's got some builders working on it, so that should be built anytime soon. We have gone for a scythe. There we go, look at that. And the toolsmith here only has one iron bar left. I'm assuming we've made that axe. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we've made the axe. This guy is on his way. <clears throat> so we can only make one more tool. <clears throat> Excuse me. That's interesting to know. Okay, so we need iron. We need to get some iron produced. But we do have pigs on the way. So we, yeah. So where am I going to put an iron smelter? All this prime real estate, I was saying. There's loads of space down here, but this not really the best place to put it. <clears throat> Excuse me, got a bit of a frog in my throat. Um, now, is there a spell? Is there a spell? I know with the Egyptians, you can you can cast a spell on an area and change it from grassland to sand. Like the Egyptians would be able to build on this sand. That's one of their racial abilities. They they can build on sand, of course. Um, I'm pretty sure one of the one of the people. One of the races has a spell where they can convert sand to grass. Now, is it the Romans? Because if it is, we're going to cast that spell all the way along here. That would be perfect. <laughs> That'd be exactly what we need. Look at this stone cutter's hut. Uh, we could probably fit. Yeah, look at that. We can fit the sawmill in. Sawmill in? <laughs> we can fit the sawmill in, even. Cool. And we, I think we just produced a troop there. Did we? Surely not. Maybe we did. I, I'm, we just saw someone go in. Was that a regular troop? Maybe. Right, let's have a look back at this guy. I was saying let's take a mental image and we'll come back later, see how he's done. Mm, yeah, he's doing okay. Look at this. He's got all these hardcore troops. These are a, a direct result. Of us giving him stone. I was saying subtly behind the scenes, this guy's gonna have a huge amount of promotion because he's been making wine since the like since the beginning. Like when when the base was tiny, I looked over and I was like, what? This guy's already making wine. Uh, and that's only gonna get better because he's making a small temple. So yeah, he's got some cool troops, fully promoted. We just he just needed that little kickstart, which I think all the bases need. Hmm. I think you know what we should do. Let's let's try and find that green guy. How many episodes? We're like four episodes into this level, and we haven't found the final guy. So let's go for. Screw it. How many thieves is that? Twenty six. Oh no, there's some here as well. Thirty five. Okay, let's just distribute. He's got to be down here somewhere. Let's just distribute these out. A few at a time. And if they get killed, they get killed. If not, whatever. <laughs> we'll see how they do. Yeah, that's the plan. We're gonna we're gonna just check out the level here. Um, if we had the Amazons, we'd just reveal the map, and all would be good. We can actually reveal the map with the Romans. I think. I think we can. But not not the whole map like the Amazons. You only get like a tiny. The magic eye with the Romans is is pretty small. So it's like a small patch, but that would be cool to do as well. So we're going to send these thieves out. Maybe 35 was too many, but we're building another one. We do want to crush this. Uh, have we angered anyone? Did I just hear combat? Did I hear combat there? I'm not sure. 
I'm sure I heard, or was it a weaponsmith working away? I don't know. Oh, maybe, maybe people are attacking these thieves that we've got swarming the map. We're going to discover that green guy, definitely. There are a few people annoyed, look, actually, because we crushed that large residence. Mm, sorry, guys. Sorry, not sorry. We needed that. We needed that space to get the grain farm in. Of course, we're building another here. Everyone, everyone is annoyed. That's not a big deal, though. I tell you what, we'll put the large residence on a high priority there. Hopefully, that should appease people. Yeah, this lots of people annoyed. Though, look at this. The large temple only needs four more. It only needs four more stone. Looks like we completed this storage area as well because there's a huge exodus of people carrying gold. Cool. Look at this. Look at this base that we're uncovering. This guy is truly trapped in. He's got the mountains all on this side. Yeah, he's got the Amazons all around that side. And then at the top, he's got us. So his base isn't really happening. And this is the green guy down here. Cool. Good to know. I wonder what he's going to be. Roman, Egyptian, Asian, yeah, he is Egyptian. Cool. I wonder how he's fared. It looks like people aren't doing quite well because it's a random map. It doesn't look like there's loads of stone. This Roman guy fell into that trap of not, not getting his stone out. And I think that's amplified with the Egyptians because they need stone. They need loads and loads of stone. It looks like the Amazons have done fairly well because they need... <laughs> <laughs> look at that yeah the amazons need um more wood than stone so it looks like they've survived and and thrived actually and f flourished and done quite well it'll be interesting to see let's just spam his base with thieves and and just check him out check his base out Interesting as well how the geography has had an effect. It's, that's something I wouldn't think of a, from a random game. Maybe if it was pre-planned, like a like a proper level, that would make sense. But something like this, it's interesting how it's had such a massive effect. Like this guy is trapped. He's done fairly well for himself, but then he he just can't do anything else. And the mountains are just thick enough that he can't. Like you place a tower on one side and you just can't get across to the other side. I had the problem when I was building this tower here. I could just squeeze it in. Cool, so this guy's base is uh, its fairly big. It's not the biggest actually. Mm, uh, yeah. It looks like he's stagnated as well, unfortunately. <laughs> so we should be able to wipe these, these folks out once we get the iron going. Yeah. There we go. Let's put that on a high priority. Let's get it done. The large residents here, unfortunately, so many people are on strike. They're all annoyed. Uh, the large residents only needs two more stone. There's one and another. There we go. Perfect. <clears throat> Let's just double check the stone cutter's hut. It's about to run out. We can, we, yeah, we can make it work. There we go, yeah. That'll be alright. Probably for another level. Another episode, even. Um, yeah, we've got loads of stone left here. Perfect. And how about this last one? Uh, there's a little bit of stone left. We could, we could work with this as well. i tell you what. Let's go for another stonecutter's hut mm, down here. Let's make that work, just in case. Just in case we run out. That'll be the backup. Very interesting, though, to see this guy. <laughs> Far too many thieves for that. But we've uncovered quite a lot of the Amazon base as well. Let's send the rest of these thieves in. And just uncover the rest of the map. Of course, we don't get points for this. It's not um, Age of Empires, where you get points for uncovering the map. <laughs> Oh, it's two of our settlers. What are they doing down here? <laughs> Let's just uncover the rest of this guy's map. We've we've put this much into it. We've put this much effort in. We might as well check the rest out. 
let's go and check out the Amazons as well. That's the 30 minute mark. What progress have we made? We've, we've hit a rut really. We need these pigs. We need to start making iron. Look at this, it's already got, we've already started actually. Look at that, the slaughterhouse there doing its thing. I think we've done okay. We've got the large residence here. Nice. We've got far too many donkeys standing around. But it does mean that if we do need to inject this guy with some more items or whatever, if he needs a helping hand, we can do it in a major way. We can, no half measures, we can just send him whatever he needs. So, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this episode, guys, and I'll see you next week for another episode of Settler Saturday.